Jonas Brothers? Is this Jonas Brothers? Oh, he's only doing that because we cannot get Steph mad even one more no. time getting a Jonas Brothers song oh. wrong. It is Pharrell. She's, Pharrell, she's my friend. She's going to throw something at my face if I do that again. <laughs> Tracy Moore, right. good to see you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, good morning, Sid. How Mer are you? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Meredith Shaw, Devo Brown off today. Yeah. Um, I don't want to tell tales out of school. We were talking off air. Yeah. You, you work out before the show? I have been this week. So three o'clock, uh, three o'clock, I get up. Four o'clock, I work out in my basement via Zoom with my uh, trainer. And this morning, I was struggling. He was like, "So did you sleep last night?" And I said, "Yeah, but it was one of those nights where my eyes were open every 20 minutes, just looking at the clock. No good reason for it. It's probably like built-up anxiety. But yes, I did. <laughs> Should I pick your jaw up and put it?" It makes me a better person when I'm able to do wow. some strength training, sweat a little bit, then I come in here. I'm pretty nice, right, Cass? Yeah. Am I nice, Cass? Oh, yeah, for sure. It's because of the workout. Okay, good. You, so, don't want, you don't want me to skip that workout. So I need to work out, yes, is what please. you're saying. <laughs> does the Tim Hortons drive through count? <laughs> do you run around it? it does, a I can. Times? I can give it a couple laps. Can you try that? In the brisk morning air. Um, yeah. All right, we got a lot going on here. It's year end, so politically in this country, there's a lot of interviews happening and a lot of news. First off, Pierre Polyev was uh, selected by Canadian press as the newsmaker of the year, the, the leader of the federal conservatives. Uh, he has not been the leader long. Mm -hmm. and, in, and depending on the poll you read, has anywhere from a 10 to 15 point lead on the federal liberals right now. Obviously, this is not election time, but Pierre Polyev has done a pretty good job of staying in the headlines whether you agree with this policy or not. That leads into the next story here, because uh, our prime minister is doing a ton, Tracy, of, of year-end interviews. Mm -hmm. And there's two headlines that kind of have come out to me. One, it's clear he's not going to resign. Nope. He's not going to, he is going to be the leader of the liberals, it sounds like, going to that next election, whenever that is, 2025 or sooner. But this clip, I, I watched this clip like 20 times. Okay. You need to tell me if I'm overreacting to it. Well, I want to see it. He sat down with Rosemary Barton, the legendary Rosemary Barton of CBC News. Mm -hmm. And Rosemary made a point that Pierre Polyev is really getting his message out and seems to have tapped into the anger and the frustration that's going on in the country financially. Yeah. And this prime minister's response to this was, watch this. Well, let's talk about some of the things that are still difficult. The rate of inflation has declined overall, but the food inflation is still punishing for a lot of Canadians. It does seem, though, as though Pierre Poiliev understood that and tapped into that long before you did. Oh, absolutely. Well, why, why is that? Why well, did no, you no, not no. see I mean, that? It's not that he understood that. It's that he's done a really effective job of reflecting that back and amplifying it to people. We've been hearing that across the country for years now. Right. I am not appalled by that at all. Okay. So you, Do you know why? Go ahead. When people, when politicians actually say the truth, we're all taken aback. Correct. He is actually reflecting what has been happening. Polyev found an opportunity and he took it and he's been taking it to get into people's psyche saying, I can do this better. Trudeau is just being honest about it. And I think that if we actually want the political system to be the sort of political system that we can trust and put our faith into, we actually need people to be honest. He's being honest about it. Like, yeah, he did it really well, and we have not been doing that well. This is what the next line should be. This is what we're doing to reroute things. I'm okay with that, the fact that he said that. Fair. I, but I find that reroute hasn't been working. Well, the reroute didn't. I don't <laughs> the know if the rerouting hasn't happened. got 15 points to the polls on some polls. Right. Like, so that's that's what he should be doing with right. that. But let's be honest and let's see. Let this is how we'll fix it. Right. I just I I do. Because I'm not sitting here saying I think Pierre Polyev actually has any ideas on this. I think okay. Pierre Paul, I think Pierre Polyev is a very good communicator. Obviously. And he's strategic. And he's been strategic. Yeah. But. I'm not suggesting he has any better way of handling a pandemic and then the inflation that followed. What I will never understand about this liberal government mm -hmm. is how obtuse they are PR-wise. It's been a bad run. Why did, why was that the response for someone down 12 to 15 points in the polls? Like you're basically, no, he's, yeah, he's hit a home run the last 12 months. <laughs> Great, <laughs> fair play. You're right, there's a level of honesty there. Yes, but that I'd rather you help. say that. It's that the, it's the truth. But that, I'm just saying it doesn't help it doesn't. Like, that's where you've got to go. 
Right. Like, I'm watching football over the weekend, and I saw 3,900 Bonnie Crombie ads mm -hmm. by the, by the, by the mm -hmm. conservative uh, provincial government here. Yep. They're terrified. Right. Like, offense, <laughs> offense, <laughs> offense. Yeah. I'm just, I'm, I, I'm taken aback by that. Okay, but I feedback at breakfasttelevision.ca. Yeah. Is, is that, was that a, a faux pas or not? Let us know. It is. <laughs>